Comprised mainly of small island developing states, also known as SIDS, Caribbean countries are confronted regularly with natural disasters, and more recently, the COVID-19 health pandemic. The region's vulnerabilities to these external shocks put governments, employers, and workers at risk for catastrophic losses of revenue, productivity, and jobs. With each pending disaster, countries face possible impacts that can destroy their economies and push their populations into poverty. According to a recent ILO report, the global collapse of tourism due to the COVID-19 pandemic, a sector already vulnerable to climate change, means that almost half a million Caribbean tourism workers face the prospect of decent work deficits in the form of job losses, reductions in working hours, and loss of incomes. The worsening of working conditions and the move to informal employment appear as a concrete possibility. Social protection, uh, it's the most important public policy that uh, government workers and employers they have at hand to address the different challenges that uh, different type of crises are bringing. And if there is something that the crisis has shown, is that this misconception that social protection is just for the poor and vulnerable is not valid anymore. We realize now that we all are in need of social protection. We all need some kind of social protection. And there is a new group of vulnerable, which actually are those who are in the labor market and because of the disruptions in the COVID are now being uh, without employment, without income. So this is where social protection must step in Following the principles of its Recommendation 205, Employment and Decent Work for Peace and Resilience, the ILO is working across the region to support the development and implementation of coherent and comprehensive policies that focus on strengthening social protection to minimize the effects of crises, enabling recovery and building resilience. Through United Nations Interagency Collaboration, uh, the Economic Commission for Latin America and the Caribbean, ICLAC, and the ILO are working together to, to promote universal and comprehensive social protection systems in the Caribbean. Uh, our recent workshop on uh, leaving no one behind in the Caribbean is a good example. In general, we would say that any person can be left behind, really. Uh, and any of us at any moment, we are all citizens, we are all subjects. And, and so the effort is really to promote universal social protection systems so that that effort to promote resilience has to be uh, coordinated, integrated and looking at a different um, multi-dimensional uh, aspects of uh, vulnerability. The ILO Caribbean Resilience Project provides opportunities for countries to understand how existing mechanisms such as public employment programs can be adapted for effective disaster preparedness and response that leads to long-term sustainability. Under the project, ILO Caribbean staff are working with countries to develop and implement labor market contingency plans that anticipate the impact of disasters and adopt necessary measures to mitigate them for a job-rich and inclusive recovery process anchored on decent work. Even before there's a disaster, we should be thinking about if something happens, how are people going to make out? I would encourage those who function in the labor market, um, the trade unions, I would encourage workers um, to engage in uh, more uh, assiduously, to work harder, to, 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 to break into the policy making processes of governance. They need to uh, help their, their workers understand and articulate because people may not have a, a tremendous depth of understanding, but they, uh, they know what they are going through and what they experience. And we have to give them room to articulate that and help use that articulation to formulate um, sound policies. In the framework of, uh, of COVID-19, what we have seen is the gaps in social protection mechanisms. So the, the, the crisis actually uh, had brought to the forefront particular needs 
of different groups of population. And uh, what we have seen is that those countries in which you can find more solid, more established social protection mechanisms are actually able to cope better and faster with uh, the impact and the challenges of the crisis. So the importance of having uh, protection mechanisms is what makes social protection systems shock responsive. So you can actually tweak them relatively easily and lean on what you already have actually to respond quickly. We have to be more sensitive, more aware of our vulnerabilities and how do we manage those vulnerabilities so that we can do the pivoting and the dancing that is necessary for our survival. And that's what good policy planning is all about. Find out more about the ILO Caribbean Resilience Project at ilo.org slash Caribbean.